Hello and welcome to the Critter and the Butterfly YouTube channel. I'm Matt, the Critter part of the duo. Well, this is going to be another one of our How We Did It videos. The graphics on our Trail Manor, it's a 2720 SL 2011. They were showing signs of age and sun exposure, so we had to replace them. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and we'll show you how we did it. Alright, here we are with a box from Trail Manor. And we'll crack it open and see what's inside. And we have graphics. And some more graphics. And that's it. Nothing else in there. So in the graphics package, we got three of these, one for the street side and door side toward the front, and one for the stone guard. So that's those. And then we have a complete graphics package. Here we are. So we have these little guys, these little push guys that go on the corners and anyone with a new trail manor will recognize the color scheme and then we have a bunch of this lots and lots and they're marked on them right side and left side but it should be pretty obvious where they go. Got a couple short ones and a bunch of real long ones. There we are. They're pretty long. So there it is, a complete graphics package for our trail manor. 2720SL 2011 and now for the fun part installation in front of you you see the array of implements of destruction that I've gathered up to do battle with the old graphics on the trail manor when we bought the trail manor the graphics were kind of questionable and they haven't gotten much better. So we're gonna go ahead and update them. Now in order to get them off, you need to use heat. It helps separate the graphics from the trailer. We're going to try two different kinds. We're going to try a steamer with a uh, fan head on it with distilled water. And we have a heat gun, adjustable, so we can get the temperature of the heat gun about the same as the steamer. Now doing this outside, I have a feeling that there are times when the heat gun will work better than the steamer and vice versa. Next are the chemicals. One of my favorites, of course, is Goo Gone. And we're going to try out the crud cutter. Now, there are other ones people have used. There are specialty chemicals made just for this, but these are the two we're going to try. To apply them, we're going to use a small bucket and a brush so we can get them right on the adhesive once we get the graphics off. And we've got rags. 
this microfiber rag and copious amounts of other rags so we can make sure that we keep as much of the remover off of the paint as we can. Now to help remove the graphics that don't want to come off, of course we have the plastic razor blades and handles. These are going to be really handy to have. And then finally, we have a pair of gloves because I want my fingers to look the same at the end as they do at the beginning. Well, that is the list. Those are the tools I have arrayed against the graphics. Here are a few other items we use during the project. First are the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser Pads. The four times stronger. These things work great. For the soap, on the soap and water cleanup, we use the Gain Power Blast. This stuff is pretty cool because it comes out as a foam. It stays where you spray it, so it's really easy to use. Next, the whole trailer was washed down with the Comet Soft Cleaner. This stuff works great on the black streaks and rub marks that you get. And after everything was all done, we used the new finish for the wax coat. Put a couple coats of this down and you're good for a while. So those are the other items that we used during the project. Well, we're out here at the Trail Manor, our 2720, doing a little graphics wrestling. And it takes a little bit to get these off, but they do come off. Now when they installed them at the factory, they installed them underneath this molding. So in order to get them all off, you gotta pull the molding. Or peel them back and trim them. So we're using the steam gun. So let me give you a look at what this is like. I'm trying to get these off of here. Steam. There we go. Warm them up. And scrape. Yeah, let's get the rest of the tree off. There it is. All of the graphic is off. Now we'll see how much fun it's going to be to get all this adhesive off of here. But it does come off. Well, after a couple of applications of the crud cutter, letting it sit, and taking the scraper to it, we get the adhesive will slowly come off. This is a very good adhesive. So, we'll continue. Take the rest of the graphics off of it and clean it up. We're about halfway through on this graphic and on this side, we're using the heat gun and a pair of gloves. It's not much different than the steam 
but it's a little easier to use. I have it set to about 250 degrees, the same as the steam. It's a long, tedious, boring process. We use the scraper here. And like I've been doing with all the rest of this, just heat it up. Take it off as it comes. Yeah. Gotta wash your fingers because it's a little hot. Loads of fun. At least the plus is I'm working in the shade. Even though the graphics coming off, there's all this adhesive that's still on here with these crack things. These poor graphics are all curled up and sun faded and poor things. But they will eventually come off. So if this is how I'm doing this side. The scraper and a heat gun. All right, as you can see, all that was going to come off has come off. Now we're going to grab our Gooby Gone stuff and we're just going to paint it on. It's pretty thin. So as I do that, I make sure that I keep the loose stuff I'm running all over the other paint because it will take the paint off. So while it's sitting there, you just take the clean cloth and wipe it off. And a little bit over here. This one came off really nice. There's very little of the glue left on this one. But that other one over there whew, was like peeling off paint instead of taking a sticker off. So that is covered. with the goo gone. A little bit up here. A little extra. Okay. There is that. I'll grab my rag that I dropped. to keep it off the paint. It's kind of weird because it says it's not harmful to paint, but well, it likes this paint for some reason. Probably because it's sun damaged. There we go. 
Now that'll set for, oh, five minutes or so. And then I'll take the scraper to it and we'll see how it does. Well, there it is, it's all off. It took a, a vicious uh, double team effort, uh, not only with the goof off and the scraper, but uh, also we had to use the old uh, magic eraser sponge and some soap and water, but it finally came off. It is clear. So that was fun. Here are a couple graphics that actually cooperated. No. Wow. Wow, it's pretty easy, dude. Eh? I'm running out of steam. <laughs> that was the butterfly in the background there amazed how it took me so long to take this apart <laughs> when she sees this happening. Now this part is underneath this molding because they put these on before they assembled it. So, There it is. When they aren't all dried and cracked and messed up, they come off pretty easy. So we're getting ready to put the graphics on the trailer. We've already done a couple of them. The uh, trail manners on both sides and on the rock guard. Now there's two different kinds of graphics on this trailer. One of them is a regular kind where it's got a cover sheet, the graphic and a back sheet. Putting those on is fairly easy. Put it where you want it. Put a piece of tape down the middle. Bring half back. Take the back sheet off, tear it, and then walk the graphic and the top sheet carefully over and do the same thing on the other side after removing the tape. Well, we have a different kind for the main graphics. Here we go, which look like this. They've got a back sheet, but they don't have a front sheet. All it is is the graphic. So these, you have to peel the back sheet off while you install it. 
And because these are huge, this is probably nine feet or so. You have to do it that way. And for extra fun, it's going to be across these windows. So you have to lay it across and then trim it because it ends up all the way over to that porch light. So I'm gonna try to show you how this is done by us putting on the stripes. So we're gonna figure out about where we want it. Which is gonna probably be right about here. There we go, right about like that is where we're gonna want it. Then we'll grab some isopropyl alcohol and a rag and we will wipe off our intended area. After we're done with that, we will install the graphic. Work slowly along the graphic, working out any air bubbles that may be trapped. Peel the graphic back to remove difficult ones before continuing. Make sure the area is clean and wipe down with isopropyl alcohol before installing the graphic.
We're starting on the final little bit on getting this thing updated, and that's this graphic right here. What I want to do is I want to put this in black so it looks like the modern ones and matches the rest of the graphics. The one that Trail Manor uses says 2720QS and it's about the third of the size of this one. So I kind of want to keep the look. What I've done so far is I've marked the bottom of the existing one on the tape. We'll pull this off and then we'll put the new one on with the tape. We'll know where to put it. So it's about the same place. I like it where it is. I've got the steam gun and the scraper and the gloves. So here we go. There we are, and no adhesive. Next, we'll do a quick wash, a quick clean with the alcohol, and install the new graphic. All right, we've got it cleaned. We've got the alcohol wipe on it, all ready to go, so, what we're going to do is we're going to peel have to make sure that it stays because sometimes they like to stay on the back sheet There we go. Peel it r real close to the... That should do. Okay. Got that part of the back sheet off. We will rub this this way and we can take this other piece of tape off and peel the rest of the back sheet off making sure everything stays and we'll lay this down. And we'll make sure it's going to cooperate. Okay. Grab the top sheet, peel it back. and flat on the surface so the letters come loose. Everybody looks happy. There we go. The finishing touch. The graphics are now done.
Well, the job is done, the graphics are on, and the trailer turned out really cool. A couple of things we came across as we were doing the job. Really, first and foremost, slow but steady wins the race. Give the heat time to soak into the graphics, don't rush them. And also give the chemicals time to get into the adhesive. It'll make it a lot easier to get that part done. And when putting on the new graphics, don't rush it. Peel the backing off and smooth them down so you make sure you don't get any air bubbles in them. Now as far as the heat sources go, between the steam and the heat gun, they both did the job. I like the steam better because it seemed, just seemed like it penetrated better. But as you saw in the video, we also used the heat gun and it also did a good job. So, whichever one you have, it'll get the job done. Now as far as the removers go, we use the crud cutter and we use the Goo Gone. For me, the Goo Gone seemed to work better. It removed more of the adhesive and only needed uh, a couple treatments in order to get it all off. Now we used the crud cutter as well and it did get the job done. It just seemed like it wasn't quite as quick but it still worked. So if you've got that laying around, it'll do the job. Now once you get the graphics and adhesive removed, make sure you wash it well, and then use the alcohol to clean the surface before you put the new graphics on, and everything will turn out just fine. Hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, don't forget to give it that thumbs up down there under the video. And if you want to keep up with what we're up to, don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we upload something new. Thanks again for stopping by and safe travels.